Hello, welcome to my channel Out and About with Martin. Today we're going to cycle up one of the lesser known trails in the Peak District, the Thornhill Trail. We will then take a loop around the Lady Bower Reservoir and return back to Thornhill. The route is a total of 10 miles. We start our ride here at the Quaker Community Car Park. This car park is hidden away and I will show you at the end of the video how to get here. The trail starts just behind the car park. As we cycle through the Thornhill Nature Reserve, we will come across some wooden carvings of animals that used to live in this area. The Osprey. Osprey are fish-eating raptors that make spectacular talon-first dives into the water to catch their prey. They breed in large nests in the tops of trees and migrate to Africa where they spend the winter. They were persecuted so much in the 1800s that for a long while they were extinct throughout the most of the UK but work is being done to encourage these birds back to the lakes and woodlands of Derbyshire Next we come across the Pine Martin Pine Martin are tree loving relatives of the stoat and weasel that eat a range of food including berries, insects and small mammals they were once widespread in the UK but disappeared from Derbyshire and much of the rest of the UK during the 1800s due to deforestation and persecution. By making our woodlands wilder and more joined up we hope to see the Pine Martin return. Next we come across the wild boar. Wild boar are the native ancestors of modern domestic pigs. They thrive in broadleaf woodland where they use their powerful snout to sniff out anything from fruits to carrion. They went extinct in the UK in the late Middle Ages when they were hunted to extinction. There are currently a number of small populations in the UK that were unofficially released into the wild and numbers are likely to increase. is the red squirrel. Red squirrels are the native cousin to the invasive grey squirrel which was introduced by humans in the 1800s. The greys outcompete and transmit disease to the smaller reds which are currently restricted to the northernmost areas of the UK. Red squirrels thrive in protected woodland where they are separate from grey squirrels. They feed mainly on seeds and nuts which they bury in autumn to last them throughout the cold winter. This is one of the two plug holes in Lady Bower. When the dam overfills, the water flows down these plug holes into an area known as the Tail Bay. 
where it joins the River Derwent, which then flows into the River Trent, finally into the Humber and the North Sea. Seven Trent also released compensation water into the river to ensure that its flow is maintained and its wildlife is protected at all times. The two pumping stations, which are capable of pumping around 170 megalitres of water every day to the treatment works. This is taken out of the reservoir through two concrete draw-off towers, which are situated at the end of the dam. The water from the dams supply homes and businesses throughout these Midlands. I hope you are enjoying this video, if you are please remember to press the like button and subscribe to my channel Out and About with Martin. This helps my channel grow and encourages me to make more videos. We have now reached the far end of this dam. There are two options to return to Thornhill. You can either turn around and retrace your steps or continue on and circumnavigate Lady Bower Reservoir. If you have young children with you, I suggest you return and trace your steps as by continuing there is a two mile road section along the A57 Snake Pass. At the time of filming, the Snake Pass was closed to road traffic due to a landslip. So I will take advantage of the quiet road and circumnavigate the dam. Now across the dam wall and when we get to the far end we will turn left and retrace our steps down the Thornhill Trail. I told you at the beginning of the video I would give you directions the Quaker Community Car Park. To find the car park where we started, travelling from the A57, you pass through the village of Bamford. As you leave Bamford you will see a black and green sign advertising several companies on your right. Take this right turn and continue over the bridge and follow the lane until you come to the Quaker Community and Meeting Rooms. There's a car park on your right, signposted Quaker Community. You can use this car park to park free of charge. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, Out and About with Martin. And until next time, it's bye.